All right. So, reanimator. Uh, the idea here is we use cards like the Explorer package and Rotting Registrar. Get away from me. Sorry, there was a fly. Uh, and Rotting Registrar to put things like Villas and Endray's Forerunners into our graveyard. And then we uh, bring them back into play with Blood for Bones and Bond of Revival. Uh, we also have Tamio to help us find our pieces. There aren't a ton of new cards in here. I mostly just want to reanimate using Blood for Bones and get this Villas thing into play and have fun with that. So, yeah, let's let's do a thing. Wait, the styles were applied, right? Nope, wrong one. Okay. Sorry, we we gotta make sure that this looks fancy. Ooh, we get to pick. I want this one. <laughs> what? Why is it not? Oh, it is. I'm just being dumb. Sorry for the wait. Just be a smidge. All right. All right. All right. It all looks sexy now. And we can reanimate some dorks. Uh-oh. That's not good. Hey, Waffle. Well, things are great. Um, might have to restart the client here. Oh, all right. That fixed it. Okay. All right. We got to uh, beat Brian Kibler with Scape Shift, of all things. Wait, no. I didn't. Oh, my gosh. We're not playing Scape Shift anymore. We're playing Reanimator. <laughs> Ooh. Khan. Isn't he a, a tiger or a lion or... Which one was he? Wait, what is all that mess at the bottom now? Did they add new currencies? Um, instead of... Um, sorry. Instead of the daily thing, it's the mastery program. There we go. I found the words that I was looking for. We're going to die to this. I mean, this gets to come into play. And we have three things to discard to it, even. Uh, the, I don't believe so. I can turn it on, but I don't think it works, so I just didn't bother. Just name a card. It, let's see, we got this card here. Black and pay one. I don't really need this. Eh, I kind of do if I draw my... Uh, black and pay two life. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn, and whenever you lose life, you draw that many cards. Uh, this is a seven, six. That's, that's about it. At the beginning of your upkeep, discard a card. Oh, no. Don't make me discard a card. It has literally no downside.
No. I don't want to attack with this because if I draw Blood for Bones, I believe the card is called. Eh. Um, if you look at my Stream Decker widget, I think it has all the cards. Yeah, the Stream Decker widget has all the cards. Well, that's annoying. I don't get to discard one of these. The, like, drop-down thing that's right here. I believe I, I'm pointing in the right spot. Yes. Alright. I'm gonna Boros charm you. <laughs> I have... I have um, six reanimate spells, actually. Four of these and two uh, bond. Uh, if this was alive, I wouldn't have blocked with this, and then I would have put this into play this turn. I mean, I have four Rotting Registrars, I have Tamio, and I have the Explorer package, which I know Explorer doesn't... Must be black this game i know explore doesn't technically discard but yeah oh that card i have this in my vampire list and this card this card humps that's not how i want to say that on screen kitty yes i get to pet it and it purrs and then I think if you pet like its wings, it gets it gets upset with you. All right. So if Rotting Registrar lives, it's going to discard a Villus, and then Blood for Bones will put Villus into play. Unless I just draw either a one-drop creature or uh, what's the other thing I'm looking for? One-drop creature or. Bond of Revival. Woof. Are we just dead? I think we're just dead. We take six just from, the, like, this and this. And then this is four. Oh, they didn't just kill us. If they attack with this, I take one more down to five. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't have killed us. Boop. Alright, that's a one-drop creature. Maybe I should have just discarded this because we're losing, so I could have just swung. Alright, well, here's the premise anyway. But we died, so. <laughs> I, I should have played this just to attack before conceding. Let's see. Nine. I would have swung for exactly lethal, and then they would have chomped and then killed me on the backswing. So it didn't matter, but. If you get a chance, I highly suggest watching Kibler's VOD of the game with him. His reaction was fantastic. Oh. Oh. I'm going to have to check that out. Okay, I got to level with you guys. And this is probably going to sound bad. But, you know, when I streamed Hex, I could understand that the main company didn't necessarily understand the best way to promote their streamers. Because all they would ever do was, like, like my tweets. But, like, liking a tweet doesn't put it out there in the ether, right? You got to retweet that. And now that I'm seeing that Wizards is doing the same thing, it's kind of frustrating. I'd like to be black. Thank you. It 
small and exactly. 100%. Ooh. Ooh, piece of candy. We are so close. They don't know how it works, apparently. Like, liking it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Help out your streamers. Sorry, I got excited. Turn three blood bones. How's this look for a turn three? How's this board state for a turn three? <laughs> oh, I have been, I am enjoying the memes today. Thank you everyone for watching. The memes have been fantastic. They've been just the my brand. <laughs> oh, we're playing against Pleasant Kenobi. <laughs> uh, I need to make sure of something. <laughs> this is one of the few times that I actually want my, uh... <laughs> my, my emotes on. Is this good against these? I can't tell. All right. Been this extra revival. Get our scry on. Uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep Tammy up. So, do they not have daily quests anymore? Uh, they're sort of like a part of that now. Oh, gosh, and then I just draw cards. Oh, this deck is busted and dumb. Oh, oh, sweet baby Jesus, this deck is sweet. I believe you do. I believe you. it's just cooked into... Hold on. Actually, I can answer that uh, more thoroughly if you give me just a second. Um... Because they actually gave us some info. So... With Corset 2020, they're introducing a new way for players to earn booster rewards and card styles through an expanded mastery system. While newer players... Uh, what is that? Mastery system. We received a lot of... Uh, what happened? What happened to the weekly win rewards? The packs you receive for your weekly win rewards are now a part of the set mastery system. So yeah, it looks like you'll be able to just... It, it plays essentially how the uh, weekly rewards played. Like we've been we've been playing it a little bit and like if you come here like this is our current level and you see this level gave us a thousand gold and an orb and then your your orbs go in here which gives you a bunch of cards. So I think in a way it's actually better than <sighs> Hmm. You even get wild cards eventually. I care less about the weekly rewards versus the gold value. Yeah. I'm looking and there's not like a ton of gold here. Like there are wild cards, but I get what you're saying because like gold is entry to things. Oh wait, this is this is the corset mat. No. So this is the set mastery, which has a bunch of gold in it. I don't know what is required of you. 
to get these things. Yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. Like, I just put a bunch of gems into this because it's hilarious. But I don't know... And then this is a separate one, huh? The packs of set mastery. Each set mastery is available from its release date until the release of the following set. So for the core set mastery, it will be available with the release of this. And will will I be able to earn rewards from older sets? No. How much does a mastery pass? 3,400 gems. Yeah. Hmm. How do I... Let's see. Is that... Hold on. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I just want to, I want to share this with everyone. Haha. -ha. All right, let's watch this. Actually, the the game that I was playing right before we started the show, my opponent had, had scape shift with that guy, and hit me for like fourteen with the scape shift. And the other land was the field of the dead that makes a zombie. It was like, <laughs> you know, hit you for fourteen, make seven zombies your turn. I'm like, I have a dinosaur. <laughs> that's yeah. that's my response to this. Speaking of which, I have a deck that's truly a delicacy that contains. All right. Thank you, Nimic. That was fantastic. Oops. Gotta make sure to just get rid of that. Yep. All right. He's just talking with Day9 because Day9 did uh, Dread Presence plus the Panharmonic. Oh, goodness. That's sweet. All right. Back to games. Let's play games. Sorry, I'm definitely tweeting this. Eh. All right. Uh no way to discard, but I'm going to keep this anyway, because we have a Bonda Revival. Thank you for that clip, Nivik. Maybe I should have played this first. Love it, love it, love it. All right, you need to be black. Uh-oh, they're ramping up. I'm afraid they're going to steal my stuff. Oh, I didn't want to play that. I thought I had a what you call it, but I do not. Uh, uh, that goes in the graveyard, thank you. I thought I had a, um, what's the card? The, the, the three mana one. Okay. I want to make sure my abilities aren't auto ordered. Wait, no, it doesn't matter. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm being dumb. Bob 
bottom that. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of damage next turn, aren't we? Seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, please attack me. Oh. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> Twelve, sixteen, twenty-one. Ten, seventeen. That's still lethal. That is still lethal. <laughs> Level up. Yeah, I don't think that this is a great example of how the system works because it assumes I'm a new player. Um... Doesn't actually matter. I have all the cards, right? Boom, you get cards. All right. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so this, I think, is the set mastery. And then this is account mastery. So this won't be there for older players, but this will instead of the um, the things, the daily quests. Does this make Marty a pro? Asking the real <laughs> questions. Uh, this hand's awkward. Don't have any way to get this in the bin, but that's all we need, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, okay. Okay. time is it 3 30 it's so weird starting at 1 30 on a weekday a lot of people playing this card today and this card uh really want a discard outlet like asap is the cat thing in a client thing, or is that a you have an overlay thing? No, this is in client. Uh, you can pay a lot of money to, to get one of these, or when you get your set mastery done, you get it. Uh, pets. Pets. Pets are here. Your new friend will accompany... Oh, there's our discount card outlet. Let's see. Your new friend will accompany you on the battlefield. Uh, no or no attacks. Uh, where you can get it. Hint. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, will you be able to purchase the pets? Currently, there are no plans to allow players to purchase pets separate from the Mastery Pass. Uh, while the current plan is to only make them accessible through each set's Mastery Pass... Oh, you have to pay... Oh, gosh. I'm so confused by this system. Boop. Blood for bones. Do I just upgrade my, my 7-6 into an 8-8 eight eight again? Dug into the VOD and grab this too. Gonna share it. Oh, okay.
It's okay. So I do have a breakdown. So you get if a player reaches level 100 between the standard set mastery and the mastery pass rewards, they will receive an elemental cat pet, Chandra awakened avatar, Chandra card sleeve, exquisite Chandra sleeve, which is what we have that we're not using for some reason, 2000 gems, 5000 gold, 50 boosters, 20 card styles, 10 mythic rare ICRs, five planeswalker cards from N20 planeswalker decks, and 30 orbs for the set mastery tree. So the, the thing I'm confused about is I don't know if you have to buy into the set mastery to begin with or if you can just buy in for, like, extra stuff, you know? All right, all right, all right. We're going we're gonna to watch this uh, from his end. Got to... Gotta do this really quick. Oh wait, wait, wait. That's the wrong button. Uh sorry. Here we go. No, I want you to capture this one. Why are you doing that? That's rude. What if I do this? <laughs> Alright. Nope, nope, that didn't work. Alright, this is fine. Just make it bigger. That'll do. And then makes a bunch of zombie tokens. <laughs> His face! <laughs> And he had the Galta. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. That was great. Thank you again. All right. Let's play. I don't know how many I want to play with this deck because I keep, like, distracting myself in between games. Hands off a Jade Light Ranger. There it is. That's the card I was looking for. Yeah, I'm 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 honestly not sure, Waffle. I understand your concerns for sure. Like it used to be a steady stream of gold. Now, who knows? All right, so on this stream, we've beaten Brian Kibler. We've beaten Pleasant Kenobi. <laughs> Who's next? Shock! Rude. Okay, good. We drew a land. Not a great land, but a land. Rhythm of the Wild. Wildy. I was going to say, I kind of want to land on top. Just make sure I hit my land drops. And that way I can Jade Light plus this next turn. My cat is snoring. Yeah, that's that's a good help. I will keep that on top. Attack you for six. We are we're playing Mickey Thompson and we're on Reanimator. Oh man, 
Temple of Milady plus uh, Tamio means we get a greater chance of hitting the card we want. So now I'm just going to name Reduce to Ashes. Okay. Now I'm just going to name Reanimate Spells. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. It's right there. To the library. Blood for bones. Uh, dismiss. Play this. Don't really have anything to reanimate, but just keep naming reanimate spells. What's the other one? Uh, bond of a thing. Rude. Oh, it's right there up top again. I know I noticed it somewhere. Perfect. Doesn't matter. We did the thing. One, two, three, four, it leaves one. All right, so tap, okay. Submit one. Get this friend back. Uh, Jade Light Ranger, sure. Graveyard. All righty then. I like it. We have an 8 8 flyer. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I was wondering how close we would be to. Ilharg. Ilharg, the raise, the raise friend. Well, at least we have an 8-8 to block? Yeah, that's what I thought. I think you will find my note helpful. Uh, maybe I was supposed to do this first. Uh, I can graveyard that because I have her. I'm BMing. I'm sorry. I just realized how badly I'm BMing. I just want to draw a card? Draw a couple cards? Alright. I'll stop BMing. They're dead. Whoops. Whoops. Whoopsie. I'm sorry, opponent. Didn't mean to BM there. Dear Mickey Thompson, my bad. Oh, you get bolus to Citadel. <laughs> when do you get bolus to Citadel? Oh, you get it over here. Gotcha. Uh, all right. I think that about sums up what the deck wants to do. So, I built this deck specifically for the best of one event that we're currently playing, where you'll notice there's zero interaction. But... In a best of three environment, maybe put in some cast downs, have a sideboard. Uh, things that I thought were sweet. This card is busted. Uh, this card was fun. This card drew us a lot of cards in one of the games. I really enjoyed that. I like drawing cards. And we got to floop the pig exactly one time. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say that was a win overall. <laughs>